In this podcast, we're going to talk about catalysts specifically, and this is part of 4D. All right, a catalyst is a substance that speeds up a reaction without being consumed. An enzyme is a special kind of catalyst, and it's a very large molecule, usually a protein, that helps to catalyze biological reactions. Homogeneous catalysts are when you have um, reacting molecules in the same phase, okay, so they're present in the same phase, so they're both in liquid phase, something like that. Heterogeneous is when you have um, two different phases, so you have a molecule in one phase and then a molecule in another phase and they react. This is like when you have like a platinum solid and then liquid molecules attached to the surface of the solid and react. Um, here you see a potential energy diagram for a catalyst shows you that the catalyst, the dotted line here, actually lowers the activation energy. It does not change the overall energy of the reaction, only lowers the activation energy. Here's a, a kinetic energy diagram. Here you see you have uncatalyzed um, and how many uh, reactions you have and then when you actually move the activation energy over, you get more that are able to be catalyzed in a uh, shorter amount of time. Catalysts allow reactions to proceed uh, via, via a different mechanism, a different pathway, so they actually react differently. And this new pathway has a lower activation energy than the first one, so it'll proceed faster because more molecules will actually already have that activation energy. It does not change the overall change in energy, though. It does not change the beginning energy of the reactants or the ending energy of the products. It only changes that middle part. Uh, when you're looking at a mechanism, a catalyst is one that will show up as a reactant in one step and then a product in a later step. So it's present in the beginning and the end. Homogeneous catalyst, remember, when you have the same phase, so chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, um, catalyze ozone gas in the atmosphere. And um, so the ozone and the CFC are both in a gaseous form. And then enzymes in the body, um, in the body are protein catalysts. And here you see that you have the catalyst and the reactants come in and they leave as products a little bit different. And that could be both in the liquid stage if we're talking about the body. All right, heterogeneous catalysts are when you have two different phases. So here we have a platinum surface that is solid, and we have these um, carbon monoxide and nitrogen monoxide liquids, reactants, that come in and bind. And then they bind and rearrange themselves and then react and are released. And then the next set comes in. All right, how does catalyst affect the rate? Um, catalysts speed up a reaction, but only to a certain point. Once all of the catalysts are being um, engaged in a reaction, then adding more reactants is not going to change the rate. You can only have a rate as many catalysts as you have. So once all the catalysts are used up, nothing else is going to help the rate. So these are zero order rates always. So any catalyzed reaction will have a zero order rate. Um, here's a picture, so you see at the beginning the rate does increase and then you get to this plateau when all the catalyst is used up and it doesn't matter how much more um, reactants you add, it's going to stay the same. So rate is independent of the concentration.